Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to configure your own CUCM single number reach settings and single number reach schedule inside of Unified Communications Manager. You would do this from your end user perspective and assuming your organization has Active Directory authentication enabled inside of Unified Communications Manager, you're going to be logging in with credentials that you already know. Let's dive in and check out the interface firsthand and go from there. To get started, navigate to the URL provided by your administrator that takes you to the Unified Communications Self-Care Portal. It will look something like what I have on the screen here. If you have questions about what that URL might be, I have the format of it below. But again, your administrator will provide this. What you'll do from here is log in with your username and password. Upon login, you will land on a page that looks something like this. It will be phones and my phones. You can see here in my organization, I have a number of different phones configured, mainly some Jabber devices and an 8865. You see my directory number is 555-555-1234. Uh, but the next thing that we need is the additional phones down below. So what you can do is click this plus mark. This is where we add our single number reach number and settings. A dialog box pops up that asks us to enter our number, uh, phone number or SIP URI actually. In this case, I'm just going to put my mobile number, which is 1555-555-4321. And I can then also put a description to go along with this mobile phone. The next thing is to obviously enable single number reach. You can see my desk number here and my no mobile number following it. You can also enable move to mobile. Now this is a feature you have to have enabled on your Cisco IP phone, but essentially it allows you to answer the call on your desk phone, press the move to mobile button, it will send a call to your mobile, you answer it, the call is transferred seamlessly, and you can actually leave the office with that call. So I'll check that as well. I'm going to also create a schedule for this assignment. This is an optional step. The default setting is to have it ring through 24 hours a day, seven days a week. In this case, we will create a schedule. Uh, we give it a name. We can just call it business hours. Uh, change to ring at specific times. Now, Take note that you do need to find your time zone. So I am in the uh, Eastern time zone. I want to look for GMT-5 uh, or minus 5 America's New York. Uh, no, you know your time zone, so find that option appropriately. Uh, I'm going to have this just ring me during the workday. So I'm going to have that between 8 and 5 o'clock. It is in 24 hour time, so you'll notice that the AM hours are uh, easily recognizable. If I wanted to end at five, that's actually 1700. And I would go down through and build this out appropriately in each instance. When you are satisfied with your settings, click the save button and then hit save again. One last thing to point out, that if you do, in fact, want to change or remove this, you can simply hit the gear, choose edit to go back to the screen that we were at before, or choose delete to remove this option altogether. Hopefully that gives you a quick idea of how to enable single number reach inside of Unified Communications Manager. If you have questions, comments, tips, or tricks, leave them in the comments section below. And I want to thank you for watching. I hope to see you again sometime soon.